that just went ham and destroyed a Mexican feast. <laughs> Introduce yourself. No way. Introduce yourself. Okay. Her name is Kiki. My name is Kiki. Yeah. I'm the Kiki. Yeah. This is my husband. Your what? My husband. That's trendy of you. Very progressive. Thank you. <laughs> His nickname is Gubby. Gubby, right. Or G O A. Look at you looking your little like, scarf all tied around. Thank you. It's very kind to me from France. So, it's very fufa 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 you guys should go to my mom's YouTube channel. Mom, what's your YouTube channel? Beauty and Her Feast. And you can watch them cook shit together. On Homeskilling. That's right, we have our own little show called Homeskilling. Mm. Woo! 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 My mom's so cool, she has her own YouTube channel show. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting some last minute breeds. There's Kiki. She's gonna realize that we're... What are we doing? <laughs> I know, I want to get a book really quick. I only got one so far. I gotta go to the teen section because I want a John Green book, I think. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> I'm back in LA and I am sitting with two suitcases and my purse and my pillow pet outside of the Grove. Casually waiting for Megan and Marissa to show up. I told them that I would text them when I was 10 minutes away. Little do you know, they're still not here. Good friends, guys. Good friends. There's a spot okay, right across from me. What? Like no little left behind. What are you doing? Hey, Lauren, if you're literally talking about this parking spot. What? Where? Where are you? You will see me. <laughs> There. Never looked at you! Little slug, she's gonna be famous someday. Check it out. Yep, popped off the plane at LAX with my dreams and my pillow pet. Did you, can you not pay for it? And we're like, no, no, we can. We just lost our ticket. We spent like 20 minutes, that's a lie, five, looking for our ticket. <laughs> that just proves how much you over exaggerate yeah, all the time. Everything is, yeah, you, hey, it's in the right profession. Um, and we're like, no, we can't find our ticket. And they're like, well, just they get behind them and we drive through. And we're like, well, there's someone behind us now. Like, we don't know what to do. And then the guy's like, whoa, fuck. And they're like, Ricky, Ricky. And Ricky's Mikey. like, Mikey. Oh, Mikey. Mikey, I'm so <laughs> sorry. What you say is a lie. Okay. And, like, <laughs> and Mikey's like, no, I got this. I got this. Go over. Just straight lifts <laughs> it up. <laughs> and we drive on under. Casual. So oh basically, God. since I just got in the middle of that vlog, I had to redo the beginning part. We were just eating at the Grove. We ate for so long, probably oh like my God. two <laughs> hours <laughs> worth of long because I was just talking so much naturally. I and I was hungry. Right. And so we ate for so long at the we're Grove and then we lost our ticket to get out of the parking lot. So like they said, we found these guys and they lifted up the thing and that was the most scandalous thing we've done <laughs> all time. Monk. We we didn't include the part where we tried to get Lauren to find a way to. Oh, I was out of the car trying to break film. into the thing. That's on film of Marissa's camera, yes. and I was trying to break into the little office thing because there's no one there. This and that's when the, all these men in blazers just popped out. Hotties. Hot at, men when with I accents. Hotties, that means straight like panty dropping. That panty dropping hotties. They were also like. Like yeah, Marissa. Money, Marissa claims that some people, are, Mar some people are. Some people. I can't talk. Go ahead. What That's how you do your bloopers on Clever. I saw all of them. <laughs> you're like. I'm, I'm the blah, 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 blah. Your mouth goes cold. But Marissa says if they're not a panty dropper, they're not worth it. Right, Marissa? Preach. Preach. Excuse me. I need. Yeah. I seriously need to work out because I can't even hold this camera right now. Okay. Oh. So, I just realized that I barely vlogged today because I woke up at ten or 12, and then I only had two hours so I had to go to the airport, so I went to brunch, which you saw, and then I was traveling till basically 8 p.m. LA time, and then you saw me meet up with this one. Oh, I have to soak these off. Oh no. Gonna be up for another like 30 minutes. Will you help me for like 10? Please? Yeah, bring it all in. All right, so since you saw what I did today already, I just wanted to make a little ending vlog, and we're gonna give you some life advice. Right? Don't turn out like us. Okay, so life advice number one. Choose, choose being positive over being negative because 
Wasting energy in your mind on negativity is simply wasting energy. It brings negative things to right. your day. Right. So thoughts become things, basically. So I whatever start you every think. Day with a positive quote. Right. So whatever you think becomes. Actually, which brings me, um, the Demi Lovato book that I just bought. Mm -hmm. It's a quote every day, mm -hmm. with a little thing in it. So that's a good thing. And we have realized that we're always stressed out all the time and that we think that the reason we're so stressed out is because all we focus on is how we're so stressed out and we never like focus on the good things in the situations that we're stressed over so we have decided to always focus on the positive more than the negative and try to see the good side of everything because there usually is a good side to everything I believe that everything yeah. happens for a there's reason there's usually a larger good side than there is bad side to it right. you just make the bad side bigger in your mind yeah I always I tend to focus on the little things way too much and Preach. overanalyze the little things in life Preach. and what else is my other advice for the day oh my other advice of the day is I read don't give really up on dreams for boys Okay, besides, that's obvious, guys, but that's just because I repel men. But I read a really good article today that you haven't read yet. I'll get on it. I was in the car. And it's, um, I linked it on my Twitter. It's from Teen Vogue, and I read it on the plane. And it's this article about being obsessed with fame and how, like, kids now, like, all they want to do is be famous. And when it's, like, not even, like, that cool of a thing, how, like, celebrities don't even like being famous kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it's just really cool because I also listen to the podcast that I try to get you little to do as do well that too. Hunter made me listen to. And it was about like defining success. And what I thought was really cool is how people define success so much about what other people what other people think. So it's like let's say I was really happy with like 200,000 subscribers, but then like no one cared about 200,000. But I didn't think it was cool. Right, like only enough. like like a million was enough, so I didn't think I was successful. But like deep down, like if I'm proud of myself, like that, that should, should be success. Matters. So it's like, what is success really? It's like, what is it? Like, is it really even a thing? Or is it just something that's put on us by society and unachievable? And a big thing that the fame article said is that it like the mindset to want to be famous just causes depression and anxiety and everything and so i highly recommend listening to ted talks about success, success. ted talks hashtag success. success they're free itunes store i did listen to them thank you you did yeah. oh good job it's really really good the one part i liked about it it talked about grit yeah and about like having grit is like even if you're like naturally smart versus like not naturally as smart, you still like try hard and you have like that like drive in you and ambition that makes you really want to be successful even though it's like what is success. I have now replaced success in my vocabulary with happiness. I used to always like be like make a wish and I'd always be like I wish to be successful. But then I realized like what is success, what success is to me might not be success to anyone else. So success at the end of the day. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I would rather be happy than have money. No, yeah. So it's like when I like wish for things, it's just like my end goal is happiness, not success anymore. Because my success is just me being happy with whatever I have, not having a number of subscribers or followers or a number of dollars. Or like a paycheck. Right. A certain paycheck. Because who cares if you're not happy, right? Preach. That's Marissa and Lauren's daily bit of success talk of advice. Talk Tuesday. Ooh. You're welcome. Yeah, but this is going to be uploaded on Wednesday, dumbass. Yeah, but today's fucking Tuesday, you bitch. Oh, and on that note, we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.